Both of them have had their troubles along the way. Pidigeda struggling back from a knee operation. Appears to be somewhere back to his best form. Physically looks in good shape. And Taufik Hidayat of Indonesia. So, Peter Gaida looking at his route through to today's semi final. He's had a tough ride through, tough first round against the Korean. That was much harder than it looked by the score. And then in the third round, had to play the number three seed and winner of this title back in 2002, Chen Hong of China. He was a game and 11-6 up, but lost that second game, 15-11, before closing out the match in an hour and 19 minutes. Then his quarter-final encounter against the number 15 seed, Mohamed Roslin Hashim of Malaysia. That was an hour and 20 minutes before winning through 15-10 in the decider. So Taufik Hidayat looking at his path through and only one seeded player that he's come up against and that was in the quarter final played the number 11 seed Cheng Yu of China that relatively easily but do you look at all his matches and all of them in straight games let's draw attention also to round three when he played against Richard Vaughan of Wales because Richard Vaughan had beaten the reigning world champion Xie Xuanzhe in the earlier round, but the Welshman losing out to Hidayat in that third round. So, Taufik Hidayat, 22-year-old, born in Bandung in Indonesia. World ranking of 18 at the moment, seeded 16 here and twice He's been a runner-up in these All England Championships. Obviously that 1999 final and also the following year. And that of course means that he reached his first All England final at the age of 17. Absolutely extraordinary. Bronze medalist in the World Championships in Seville in 2001. And my goodness, if fate hadn't created a, a cruel blow by the fact that he was 7-1 up in the deciding game against teammate Hendrawan in that semi-final when he had to retire injured, having pulled an adductor muscle. He is, at the moment, though, Asian Games gold medalist, won that title in Busan in 2002. Peter Gaida, well, he's had a tremendous week so far. 27 years of age, born in Orborg in Denmark. World Championship silver medalist two years, three years ago, and bronze medalist in 1999. But he hasn't won a title or indeed reached a final since the Copenhagen Masters in 2002. So Peter Gaeta, what a welcome return to this sort of form. And I thought personally, when I watched him play against the number three seed, Cheng Hong, the 2002 winner of this all in the title, I thought when he beat him, he was looking as sharp as I've seen him over the last two or three years. Of course, that knee operation had to find his way back, in fact, had to qualify for most Grand Prix events. On my left, Taufik Hidayat, Indonesia. <laughs> and on my right, Peter Garda, Denmark. Chris Taylor of Lincolnshire, the umpire for this semi-final. And as you could hear from the crowd, plenty of Danish support here at the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham. And Darren, the big question, obviously those two very hard matches the last two days for Peter Gaida. Do you think physically that's taken the edge out of him? I think if he's looking to win this, he's got to win it in two sets. 
both very smooth players, good rallyers, lots of nice flair from both players. If it gets down to a very physical match, I think maybe the edge maybe just knocked off him a little bit. Oh, what a drop shot. Hidayat playing with precision. He's such a skillful player. Such a relaxed, easy style. Well, we've mentioned the fact that Peter Gaeta has had his troubles. Hidayat has also not had a smooth ride recently. Fell out with national coach Joko Suprianto and in fact spent time away from the National Training Centre. Fantastic play from Taufik there. A good cross-court backhand. Gets a lift. Up he goes, so deceptive from his forehand side. meeting between these two men and of the previous five Peter Love Gaeta three. has won on four occasions doesn't like the call. Three, one. Perfect. Great angle by the Indonesian. Three, one. Slicing across the feathers to bring the shuttle down even steeper. from Peter then, a lot more patient, read the return from Taufik there, stayed in the forehand side, just leapt up, put it in the cross court in the gap.
superb. Peter Gaida outmaneuvering his opponent, playing him to all four corners of the court before he went for his winner. his opponent. Three, four. Yeah, good anticipation for Peter. Holds his racket there, just flicks off at the end. pushing Taufik into each corner, forcing him to go into something he's not on balance for. Loose backhand from the day. Of serve, but perhaps the serve from Hideyat a little bit loose. Oh. Wow, this is just incredible. Yeah, great timing from Taufik there. Only slightly built, but the power he generates from his smashes. for a shot Four, is it in one good three. shot and then the next area is just not into his stride quite at the moment at the moment. Yeah, he's definitely dictating the pace of play. Five, three. Again, we're seeing Taufik in deep in the forehand corner, taking it very late. Apologises for the net cord on the final shot. But this was almost like a doubles interchange. And do you think this is going to suit the Dane more or the Indonesian, these flat, fast exchanges? Well, at the moment, Peter's getting the, the best of them at the moment. So as long as he's, he's been successful with it, he'll keep with his game plan. He's been very positive moving Taufik all around the court, at the moment dictating the play. It's just if he can keep the pace going. Taufik Hidayat, number one seed at the Olympic Games in Six, Sydney, three. but lost in the quarter-final stages. Bit of disappointment to him, that. Darren, as if the Indonesian is going for his winners too early on in the rally. He hasn't really pulled his opponent out of position. No, he's not being patient enough. He's not waiting to get the opening. 
Oh, eight, that's fast. Three. Well, that's an area of his game that I thought Peter Gaeda could have exploited more in his matches earlier on in the tournament. Didn't seem to really use the net because he is a great net player. Yeah, it's very fast into the net. Takes a shuttle very early, as we saw there. Service over. Three, eight. Well, again, it was the net shot that sat, set up the rally. Yeah, lovely spinning net shot. Taken so early, just clipping the top of the tape. Sets up the easy kill for him. better from Taufik there this time he's trying to be a little bit more positive coming forward on the shuttle rather than staying back about the fact that he plays a good shot a winning shot one rally and the next rally makes a simple error yeah, be disappointed. Worked hard for the rally, worked hard for the point, and just gives it away. Persisting with this low serve Eight, is Hideyat. And yet Peter Gaynor seems to be reading it and attacking it well. I had some concerns about these fast flat interchanges. I thought that once that Hideyat would get into his stride and start seeing the shuttle, it, it's, I believe, suits the Indonesian better. Four, eight. Great angle from Taufik there. Leapt up high. A good lift. Five, eight. Yeah, Taufik now trying to impose himself on the game a little bit more. A little bit more urgency to his movement, a bit more pace on his shots. Three points for the Indonesian, and he's right back in this. Well, there was an 
unbelievable defensive shot there from Chalvik Hidayat. Seven, eight. Yeah, full stretch on that one, Jill. And managed to get it back cross court as well. Good reactions from him. Now just the one point, the deficit. Peter Cummington there, doing the right things, getting there early. Just playing too tight to it. Pleased with that, he's been stuck on eight for a little while now. Ten, eight. Oh, that's just incredible. How fast was that? Immediately looking for the net reply, knocking the shuttle off the top of the tape. done so much hard work to catch back well, up from that 3-8 deficit. Get back to Aid Hall. Hedayat has let things slip again. smashing precision placement down the line yeah, great rally from Peter up he goes two smashes same angle Low serve. Yeah, I can't under understand why Chalfik's not varying his serve. He's served two low serves in the net. He's had three of them knocked off at his body. And now the error on the return gives the day a game point. from Taufik there, he's been flicking off a lot from the backhand corner, that one very early, holds it there lovely spin in that shot Nine, well, 14. 
Hidayat must have heard you, Darren. There, varying the serve, serving out wide. opportunity Peter Gaida of Denmark well he played the net well attacked when he needed to and he's got the opening game 15-9 both sets of coaches lots of instructions in that 90 second timeout level play but Peter Gator having taken that opening game 15-9. Certainly looks confident. <laughs> Tactically, that was perfect. And he knows it. Fantastic rally from Peter there. What a net shot. Taufik doing so well to get it back. Again, making Taufik work so hard. Well, I just wondered in the 90-second timeout, Darren, whether the Indonesian coach was telling Taufik, you know, extend the rallies, work him hard. But quite frankly, I'm not sure that that's sufficient. No, it is Peter at the moment that's controlling the game. I think Taufik has got to try and extend the rally somehow, one. keep the pace going. But Gade, if even if we looked at his quarterfinals yesterday, he's playing in, in sort of patches of points. And today in the first game, he was 8-3 up. He sort of took his foot off the accelerator a little bit, got back to 8 all, caught his breath back, and off he goes again. Uh, his train bar shots really those I don't know if you describe them as half smashes or fast drops yeah very good shot good angles as well Gator short short clear from his backhand but Taufik very good very deceptive he goes cross court a lot but that time chose to go straight Indonesian is trying to push Peter Gader from side to side at the back of the court. But when he's lifting, he's not lifting deep enough. And he's giving the Dane an easy opportunity to finish off the rally.
once again, is he, has he just got to give more height to the shuttle when he's playing it to the back? Yeah, it's too flat at the moment, and it's perfect angle for Peter to get onto it. Goodness. One, two. Umpire Chris Taylor calling fault receiver for moving before the serve had been struck. One, two. One, two. And now the scoreboard inside of the court, not keeping up with the action. Yes, it's one, two. Plenty of Danish youngsters in the crowd here in Birmingham. National Junior Squad, the Young Academy players, all here learning from the top players in the world. Well, that time it was a perfect lift off the net. Southwick there, starting to try to dominate the net a little bit more. That time a short lift from Peter. Darren, as if the Indonesian is getting a lot more attacking play, he's been more positive within the rallies. Four, yeah, definitely. The last last three or four points, you can see him hitting a little bit more purpose on his smashes. as he played that smash, Peter Green. Gator. That's why he dragged the shuttle wide. Well, 
Well, you won't see a better backhand than that. Incredible backhand from Taufik. He's so relaxed when he's going into it, more or less taking it behind him. Generated such power from it. Apologises because his little block to the net, the shuttle sat on the top of the tape, thought about it, and then went over. Incredible. Misjudgment from Gaida. Yeah, he'll be disappointed with that. Four. He had control of the rally, thought it was going long. Same again, a misjudgment, the shuttle landing clearly in. Exchanges are becoming an important aspect of this match. <laughs> Peter Gaida, twice a European champion. Yet, former Asian champion, Asian Games gold medalist. Seven four. Disappointed, he's sensing it's a crucial point in the game. He's just got a slight tendency from round that head to drag that smash down the forehand side of Taufik out in the tram lines. opponent move the full diagonal of the court deep into his forehand side then into the backhand cross to the forehand again Yes, 
skater now placing the shuttle rather than thundering down the smashes. This one, he's worried more about the angle, pulling his opponent out of position. And he's gaining more success with that. players, Darren, seem to be playing in patches, patches of brilliance and then patches of perhaps one or two unforced errors. Yeah, it's quite a high-paced game. Not much in it for both players. So from that 4-8 deficit, now back on level terms. Peter really trying to G himself up after each point. He wants to win this in two. And that's not just the accuracy of Smash, it's the deception as well. He has the choice, and his overhead action looks exactly the same whether he smashes straight down the line or whether he plays it across court. judgment was better. most certainly on a roll here. Ten, yeah, I'll be eight. extremely pleased with that. He's missed a couple down that line. Brave shot to take it on again. Inch perfect. from Gade there, 11, just steps eight. off the net a little bit, anticipates the drive from Taufik. Well, and again, anticipating the reply, Jens Maibon, the coach. Well, oh, he's eight. absolutely delighted, and why not? if you're a little bit nervous it's the delicate shots the touch shots where the nerves tend to show the most he's missed it good recovery from Peter Gator service over 
well. Done very well there, Taufi. Got a net called. Fantastic play from Pete. A lot, a lot of pressure. Gets that net so early. Lovely spinning net shot. 13 9. You can sense the end is near. Giving it all he's got. Two points away from a second appearance in an All England final. Peter Gader. Service over. 9-13. Oh, amazing. Locked in the air. Addressed the shuttle early. And that's how he was able to create the angle. His attacking play. He's had it a couple of winners down the Indonesian's forehand side, 14, that time directing the nine. smash straight at his opponent. He's earned himself a match point. final well he struggled for so long with his injuries but at long last Gaydat is back to the sort of form that took him to number one in the world won by Peter Gardner 15-9 Absolute delight at the realisation that he's through to the final. Confirmation of the score, 15-9, 15-9. And the Danish supporters here at the National Indoor Arena, well, they know what this man has been through, but my goodness, he really is back. <laughs> 